So hello again everyone, I'm sorry about the last video, I had to, uh, uh, there was some interruption, so I had to end the video. So we will continue now, uh, we were about to, uh, we already uh, created initial, uh, initial states, also we imported the types, uh, this type, this only one for now. So now uh, we need to export and create our function uh, which will uh, test the action types and depending on the action type uh, it will set the uh, value of that action which is the payload uh, which is the data which is uh, the data that is coming from the action will set it into uh, a specific uh, state so uh, first, I need to export default function, and this uh, this uh, function has two parameters. Uh, the first one will be the state, which is equal to initial state. Actually, let's just change the name to state. It's not state. State initial state. Uh, also we have a second parameter which is the action so and this and uh, in, in this function in this function we will uh, test so we will use a switch to test the action dot type this is switch Oops. Okay. So the first case will be, uh, sorry, the first case will be a uh, search movie. And for the search movie, we will return the state also we will return uh, we will set the text state into action dot payload which is the data also we will uh, set the loading loading state into false and I will speak of this state and why we set it into false just when uh, when we uh, start uh, using and implementing Redux inside our application. So uh, this is the the first case. Uh, we will also have another cases, but for now we have just this one. Uh, default. The default case will be will return the state. That's it for and I believe that's it for uh, for this function so let's save so now after creating the, the uh, reducer let's just jump into actions and create uh, our actions file so let's create search actions Js. So basically, the actions uh, are functions. Each action is a function. So this uh, uh, function has, uh, as I already mentioned, uh, it has uh, a type and has a payload. So when we create those functions and then we import them inside our application for example let's say that in our search box when we hit enter on the uh, on the search box after typing some text we hit enter so that will initialize an action which is the search movie or fetch movies okay that's the action will be triggered after we hit enter so we here in actions we create a function which will call the api 
and then fetch the data and getting get me the data so the data will be passed into from the action into the reducer and the, in the reducer will will uh, will check the action type if it is a movie uh, fetch movies that the action types uh, so it will set the movies state into the action payload so we'll implement that and uh, with the code we will start with importing uh, the uh, action types so we have just uh, for now we will use let's make sure in types we have search movie so we will import search search movie from dot we are inside actions so we in types that's it okay we uh, importing search movie from the types uh, file also so now we can uh, create our action so basically we create a function which will I will call search movie this is the action name this will be this action will take uh, a text parameter and also we we will pass we will pass the text okay let's just there's some oh it's, sorry about that we create constant we don't uh, we are using arrow function so we don't need to declare the uh, the function with uh, function with the function word so we just export constant the the function name and the first parameter and also that uh, we so that we was with that we can create a function uh, so in our in redux uh, if, if you can remember that uh, when we trigger when something triggered uh, inside our application that will dispatch that will dispatch an action so we need to pass the dispatch after after the main action or the main function so we have a function and inside this function we are using another function which is which is dispatch this dispatch is coming from the redux thunk middleware which we already uh, implemented with the structure of our store our redux store so that's why we are using thunk to use to be able to, to use dispatch so in dispatch in dispatch we are just dispatching the action uh, type and the action payload which will uh, make the reducer recognize our action so we basically use this dispatch function dispatch and we are uh, first uh, passing the type of our function which is search movie also we are passing the payload which is the text this is the text which is coming from our uh, our function so when we use this function inside a component we we pass the text with the function so the the text will be passed through uh, this action and will be set into the payload and inside reducer inside your, our search reducer at first we'll uh, check the action type and we'll see that we have the same uh, search movie type which we are we are uh, already set here and then it will return the text the text state into the action payload which is which is the text 
I hope that makes sense for you. Um, I know it's difficult. I know it's it's hard to digest and understand, but um, that's how things going on here, and uh, with the Redux. Um, so I believe that's the basic structure of our uh, of our Redux uh, state manager. Um, I will use another step uh, with the uh, so now we cannot use uh, Redux for now by uh, just uh, creating those files and those structure uh, we will not be able to use uh, Redux yet so f first we need to uh, insert the store into uh, inside our uh, app but but I will leave it for now because I need to create some components so we'll be ab we will be able to uh, use the Redux inside our components uh, after creating the components I will implement uh, the store inside the app we and we will test uh, we will test how Redux uh, how Redux is working so I believe that's it for this video thanks for uh, thanks for watching and see you later